Hello, my name is Jonas. In this video I will take a brief look at a program called Scopebox. So, right now I'm in the middle of the process of upgrading my studio gear and therefore I will take a look at the program called Scopebox. Now, Scopebox lets you customize a layout of different scopes which is used to analyze a video feed. And this can be really handy when doing color correcting and grading work. Now, most users who use, for example, DaVinci Resolve tend to go with the scopes that are already built in to the program. And these scopes can have some limitations to them. And also, it's quite hard on the performance of the computer. Therefore, I most time turn off my scopes when I want real-time playback. Now, with Scopebox, you can use a separate computer than your video editing machine and run the scopes on that one instead. Of course, you can also use Scopebox on the same computer as your video editing program. For example, it has the featuring of the linking between Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro, the video feed, so you don't have to send it out from the computer and take it in again. But the way I intend to use it is on my separate computer, my MacBook, and I'm gonna use this Blackmagic Ultra Studio Mini Recorder to get the signal from my video editing PC into the MacBook. Now the problem with my old MacBook is that the performance isn't really that good and sufficient for Scopebox. I've just loaded up a video clip into Scopebox and it's not even playing but the fans have turned on and uh, it's getting hot. So anyways as you can see here I have some different scopes laid out. I have two waveforms on top. One which displays uh, saturation and one which displays luma. And I have an RGB parade, a very nice vector scope and also this HML balance which is uh, quite special. It's basically three different vector scopes that separates the signal into high, medium and lows. Which is really handy if you want to see color casts in the dark parts of the image or the bright parts in the image. So, but anyways, this computer isn't really sufficient for Scopebox. And when I use it with the external signal, like from the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder, uh, it takes only a short while and the fans turn on and uh, I don't get real-time performance from it. So, to solve that, I have finally decided to upgrade my MacBook. I actually bought a new 2018 MacBook Pro. And it's the baseline model, 15 inch. And I just received it like 15 minutes ago, so I haven't even had time to unpack it and uh, try it out, but there will be time for that later. Now, to complement the new MacBook, I also bought this <laughs> LG Ultrafine 4K monitor. And my plan is when to use that one as uh, a monitor to have uh, DaVinci Resolve on when I edit videos. And when I color grade videos, I'm thinking about having Resolve on the 15 inch screen on the laptop and use the scopes on this 22 inch display. In the next video, I will show you how I set everything up and uh, we'll see if it works as I hope it will. So if you're interested in trying out Scopebox, I'll link to it in the description below. You can get a trial version first and see if it fits your workflow. And if you want to buy it, it's 99 US dollars. If you have any thoughts or questions, please leave a comment below. Also, remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.